Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Digital Spectre, and welcome back to yet another spooky game. That's what I have for you today, Summer of 58. Uh, keeping with the uh, spirit of Halloween coming up, playing more spooky games. I'm not sure how long this game is. This might go into a video with a few other spooky games. If it's long enough, it'll be a standalone thing. So we're just going to jump right in. Not entirely sure what it's about, but it comes highly recommended. So here we go, without any further preamble from me. Let's jump right in. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton. And we're getting started. All right, Alex Morton. Whoa, holy shit. I'm not controlling this. Okay, it's a cutscene. This looks fucking wild, though. Bastardo. Oh, boy. Perfect. Pentagrams, blood, curse words, hatred, blood, more blood. I'm assuming. I can only assume. This is another game on Itch, by the way. Go and check out the developer. I'll leave the link to this game and to that developer in the description here. Go and check them out. Give them some love. See what uh, see what they're uh, see what they're all about. This is my first foray into this developer. I searched all the corners, but didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened and to find out if the rumors are true, and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it, and I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I, hate a vi I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things and food with me. Dude, you went to Russia? Because your subscribers asked you to? Must be nice. Holy shit. This is me putting up a tent? Well, at least I've got food. At least I've got food. Ooh, here we are. Emika Games presents. Need to explore this camp. Wow, holy shit. I am definitely in Russia. That is definitely Russian. Okay. Well, it's a nice looking game. I would say. Let's see what happens. See if it's spooky. Apparently it's pretty scary. I don't know if... Uh... Heard, uh, heard reviews. Ooh, okay. Ah. Yes, we must take down these. Why am I breathing like that? Hello? Ah, yes, the summer of 58. A fine year. Let's see. I'm assuming, uh... Ooh. A lighter. Cool. Yeah, sure. The lighter is almost empty. I can't always use it. Copy that, buddy. Roger that. Ooh, that's how we zoom in. Okay. No flashlight yet that I've noticed. Hello. Goodbye, Mr. Raven. Lots of squinks and squawks taking place. Uh, at least it's sunny. You know, the sun's out. Sun's up. We're not in total darkness. Did someone feed the cats here? I hear a cat, right? Oh, kitty, hey. Oh, hi, kitty. Well, that's nice. We're going to be best buddies, okay? You and me. Apparently, I'm staying here. Good lord. I'm sorry, but uh, even if I had a bunch of subscribers, it would take a lot for me to just stay at a place like this by myself. And I guess he's fine, technically, to him. Hello? Te technically, to this guy, he's just camping out, right? He doesn't believe in paranormal phenomena. 
Even though that's what he found his success on, it seems. Hello? I hear you scrambling out there. The door is locked and boarded up for a reason. Did I just crawl through a window? Alright, well. Not sure what to do about this now. I've uh, found a lighter. Hello? I hear a train or some, some, and a kitten purring ever so softly. Can we be friends? Will you allow me to pet you? Ah, the purr of a cat. It's very comforting, actually. <laughs> That's a much more pleasant sound than what I was expecting to, to hear. Although... No! Mr. Kitten, not the kitty! Fuck. It'll be dark soon. I need to look for candles. Okay. Am I just assuming that the cat knocks it down? Oh, hello, bunny. Oh, hey, look. How convenient. Thank you, cats. <laughs> uh... Am I in Silent Hill? Hello, bunny. Nice to see you. What the fuck is happening? Why is there siren going off? About to be bombed? Is it, uh, oh. The, the, the hammering. I was the one nailing the, the door shut. Light the candles. There we go. Perfect. This will surely last me through the entire night. <laughs> Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Dude, just get out of this place and camp in the woods. You can have a much better time. Oh, there's like, uh, that's not an entirely 3D background out there. Weird. All right. Sure, let's spread out the sleeping bag. It, it looked weird. There we are. Ah, oh, there's my bag. Spread it out. Get some done. Need to prepare for the night. What do you recommend? Oh, loading. Night one. Very well. Night number one it is. Don't tell me, I'm, am I going to have to, like, survive nights? Oh, boy. I'm recording this. Hey, I hope all you sons of bitches are fucking appreciative of the things that I do for you. Hello? Uh, yeah, dude... There's no fucking way I would be doing this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, yes. How do I zoom back out now? Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Well. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Night vision in video games. What are these, like, little names? It's me. Your boy, Zag Baggins. I just like walk through the walk through the halls of this place flexing my pecs. Juggling them. Doop, 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 doop. Could get your ass whooped, ghost. <laughs> I'm fucking Zag Baggins, man. Alright, let's see. Oh. Hello, grandmother. Babushka, I believe they call them. And it's creepy. Sure is, isn't it? Oh. Okay, I can turn that off. A nice gas mask to keep me company. Alright, so now what? This is not... Yes? Oh boy. <gasps> oh god, the fucking gas mask scared the shit out of me. I thought I saw someone. Hello? Where is all the bank? Oh boy. I've noticed I say, oh boy, a lot in my videos whenever I'm nervous. Just from fucking editing, like, always. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, look. Hello. How do you not believe in ghosts at this point? <laughs> or in the paranormal phenomena? Okay. Oh! They locked me in. You bastards. But my... Oh god. 
but my, uh... Hello? But my subscribers, they want to see... They want to see me catching paranormal activities. What the hell? <laughs> That's in my fucking ear. I, I don't like it. I don't know, some people are into that kind of ASMR stuff, you know, where some, like, semi-attractive woman or man chewing, f chewing up food in your ears. You know, some people get their rocks off on that kind of thing, but I'm not one of them, okay? I don't want to listen to you smack your food. I the... Oh. Okay. Well, I better answer the telly. It works, apparently. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck am I seeing? Did that... It sounded like a baseball bat smacked me in the head or something. Did I just get fucking killed? Oh my god, my head. Uh, you little shit. Knocked me in the head. Need to find my video camera. I think you need to be worried about more than just your video camera, my dude. I think it's time to say, you know what? I got enough content. Oh, hello, pigeon. Got some seed. Oh, that's very kind. Can't read what it says. Need to get my Russian English dictionary. Where the fuck is one of those at? In my bag? Okay. Well, let's see if we can find a Russian Eng Engl English dictionary. Oh boy. There we go again. What is that? Holy shit. What's that animal carcass? Ooh, a handprint. Okay. You know, I noticed too, like whenever I'm going back and editing, just from commentating on these videos, I do miss, I too tend to miss a lot. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to pay extra close attention. Sometimes I miss things that I didn't even realize were there. A video camera. Oh! Ooh, a note. I can't read. Oh my god, I need my English. Russian English diction. Hi. Okay. Where are you at? Okay, my Russian English dictionary. I am using my Russian English dictionary and picking it up. You're not welcome here. Is that right? Well, you know, you could have just said that instead of smacking me in the head. It sounded like a wooden baseball bat. Let's see what this says. Late at night when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool. And bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers uh, do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he, that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Uh, that's very nice. I have no idea what the fuck it means or what the context is, but okay. No fools and uh, no fun. Okay, copy that. Spirits of this place. Can I translate this now? What does this say? I don't know. Who knows? Seems like a an odd way to kind of uh, the one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Do you? I think you have to figure anything out. I think you just I need to try and turn on the lights in the entire building. <laughs> what lights? There's no bulbs. There's a few like here and there, but what makes Hello? What makes you think this place has working lights? That's a nice tune. Sounds lovely. 
<laughs> God. I guess it's just me sighing with the uh, need to look this need to look this room, looking this room, and print. Don't think that's really going to help us. Dead carcass, um, whatever that you know. It's always a good sign. Never nothing uh, sinister happening. Hello, what are you humming about? Ooh, a dead bird. Of course. Of course. Ooh, many dead birds. You killed my crow friends. Where's the cat? Better leave the damn cat alone. Ah! One day a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with them and even slept with them. The guys began to mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker, and in the coming night the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. I think I seen that hair. On the behind the window. Well, at least you know he's taken up for his owner. Unless he's you know strangled his his owner as well. The hair comes to life and strangles everybody. I haven't finished looking around the room. Are you sure? I thought I did. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, bloody footprints. Didn't notice those before. Well, can't get there. Can't get there. What we have here? Something in German. I mean, German. In Russian. Oh. Okay. A pocket watch. That I can't seem to use. Blocks. Chairs. Windows. Furnace. All. Birds. And propaganda. Guys, your prank with fire leads to a fire. <laughs> okay. Ah! Look at that! How oh, convenient. Oh. Take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the bulbs for lighting. How convenient. How do you know that this place still has electricity within it? Take the box to the sleeping bag. Yeah, okay. Hi. Hello. We sharing? We bunkmates? Look, uh, I had a bunkmate before in a literal bunker, and it didn't go well. I didn't like it. Put these uh, here. Here's some fucking bulbs and stuff. Cool. A hey, uh, Peter? Ivan? What you running in here for? I don't know. We'll just, uh, just, uh, continue doing what we're doing here. Oh, here we are. Turn on the light. Sure. Why not? All it takes is a simple fuse replacement. What is that sound? Well, there's an ice cream truck going by outside. Shit. I should go chase him down and get myself a nice Sonic the Hedgehog. Ice cream. You know, I would love to turn the lights on. Investigation underway on the appearance of children employees of the Unost Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Anatoly Anatolyevna. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. <laughs> Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him at where he is now is not known. Damn Yakov. Spent less time yakking off and more time... You know, learn to survive. Yakov. Oh, look, lights. Ha ha, I have found the lights. The lights have been turned on. How lovely. Very, uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, now what? Well, we turned on the light. Everyone. And now we've got a music box playing. Sorry, I'm in, uh, new clothes yet again. I had, uh, I had to stop recording yesterday and pick back up again uh, where I left off. My son woke up from his slumber. So here we are. Oh, this is what turned on. I can finally turn it off. I guess I should go to sleep, huh? Yeah, it'll be dark soon. That's... Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Let's go to sleep. 
I don't know why I would do this, but, you know, whatever. Night two. Aha. Uh -huh. So I have survived night one. On to night two. Alright, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Oh, clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Alright, where's my camera? Oh, I set it back on the tripod. Is it like watching me as I sleep? Assuming I'm just recording this stuff, right? There's no like live streaming capabilities probably out here. Oh, I say that, but this place has fucking electricity after God knows how long. There's only so many places I can go, really, you know? I mean, ooh. the doors are closed. I don't recall doing that. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, you want me to come in there, huh, Susie? Susie Q. You in here? Okay. All right. <sighs> well, you yeah, know. Zach Baggins back on the hunt. Feeling, uh... Feeling... The demonic presence. <laughs> Stop with the... Radio, please. Squeak? Ooh, Jesus, Susie, you fuck. Susie? I've had enough of your fucking... Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is fucked up. Susie. Susie? Susie. What did I miss? I missed something. Oh, boy. Is that Susie? <gasps> you dragged the carcass away. Are you hungry? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That box wasn't here before. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I have nothing else to say. It's locked. Be interesting to know what's inside. Yeah, that would make for some fucking great content, right? As if this isn't already good enough. Holy shit. You can literally stop right here, leave with what you got, and probably go viral. Without even trying. What's that say? I don't know. Susie. Susie. Susie? Oh, my lights. Oh, boy. There were spare bulbs. Ah. A nice bulb. I shall grab the bulbs. Give me this bulb, please. And we shall plug it in. Is it in this one? There we go. I am a fucking wizard. You know? Just fucking levitate this bulb and have it goddamn phase right through the glass. Everyone. This done it. I should be going to fucking Hogwarts. Not to wherever the fuck this is. Be clean, neat, pioneer. Show an example in everything. Okay. Eh. Whatever you say. I don't know. Uh, close this door. Susie. You close this door. Hey. Hey. How dare you. Alright. Well. Very interesting. Is there a light bulb here as well? No, there wasn't, was there? Excuse me. Look, are you paying the water bill? I don't think so. Oh. Ah, see? That's all it takes is a little firm hand. Show a little respect, you little... <gasps> it's the strangling hair. I don't know what's what's that box, but... Is this the... Str oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck the hell? Fuck that. You. What's drip dropping in? Ooh. I should have fucking known. It's obvious. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Hector. You dumb bastard. D Strangling hair? Were you late for a very important date or something? I don't know. Okay, I don't like it though. Oh! <laughs> this is gonna be great footage. Footage? For the channel? Oh boy.
Do you believe now? Like, what? What? Oh, you... <laughs> <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Can I have another bulb, please? Turn my lights out. This is clearly out. Give me. Oh, shit. Oh, you just turn the lights out in general. Oh, it's so fucking dark. You little shit. Hello? Oh, I don't like the breathing. Eep. 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 I can't... I can't fl flick flick. Oh boy. Flick flick. Hello, bird. Are you back here? No? Just the letter? Okay. Ooh. Oh, right. It's still locked. I gotta find a key for the... Execo Weasel. It's me. Look, I don't have time for you. Text you. You know, to Maria. Oh, wait, I've already read this. Okay. I've already read it. I apologize. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hello. Alright. Well, I always get stuck on that fucking chair. Open up, please. Could you please stop fucking closing the doors? I need a key to the. Ba ba what the fuck was that? Hello? Oh Jesus. God Jesus. Well, they're good at building up fucking tension and then capitalizing on it at the last fucking minute. So, something like a little Oh! Well well well, looky there. With this key, you can open the box. Would you like to play ball? All right, well, let's go open the D-book box. I heard a door close. Oh, mystical box, what are ye hiding inside? What are your secrets? All right. Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in, f in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay. But Night of 58. Oh shit. Am I having a flashback? Interesting. Okay. I'm with it. Ooh. After a severe th thunderstorm, there's no light in the building. Yeah, I'm assuming... English isn't this developer's first language because some of the way that things are written is a little odd. Oh, thank fucking god, a flashlight. A proper one. Oh, look, hey man, this place isn't half bad whenever it's, you know, not descending into madness. Chaos. A-H what? R? I hear the crows. The murder of c crows speaking to me. Hello? Okay. Very nice. Ooh, a succubus. Or succulent. A <laughs> succubus. No, definitely not a succubus. A succulent. It's very nice. Ooh, tricycles. This is a completely normal summer camp. You're gonna be just fine. Okay, turn this on. No. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother. It doesn't sound like it. Okay. Well... Guess we won't be bothering them. Oh, here. This one, right? No, that's not what I'm trying to open. I was trying to open this one. Why did it open the one that's not on the fucking bucket? Hello? Hello? I'm trying to open this one. This is the one that's on the chalkboard, right? Doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors, so we decided not to contact him again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Poor Ivan. Okay, Ivan. Well, hopefully you get your uh, your heart transplant. Ooh. Lovely drawings. Sounds familiar. Oh. The glass is broken. And there's a crow. Of course there's a crow. Oh. 
Anna, we need to run. It's all because of that director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Yeah, it's definitely not their first language, but I understand what they're going for. Hello? Hello? Ah. So I wasn't supposed to do this just yet. Oh, look at that. Ooh. The key to the safe. Perfect. Perfect. Excuse me. Perfect, you filthy child. Ah, there we are. What are you huffing and puffing out there for? Ooh. Okay. That dossier. We work together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work, and now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys, and Alexei, Alexei Sergeyevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical re record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. That's fucked up. That's not cool. You're gonna kill Yakov? Jesus Christ. So you're like gonna kill another kid? to get the transplant. Jesus. You spray the sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. What the fuck? The special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy. Although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Man, you people are fucked up. Holy shit. No wonder everyone... Hello? Little child? Gas cylinder under the door and get back to the classroom. Okay. I don't feel right doing this. Fucking... Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't... Oh Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck did that happen? Squeeze me. Squeeze me. Need to open a window. I'd like to open a window please. Fucking shit. What the fuck is happening here? I don't know what the fuck. This is fucking super weird. Holy shit. Maria's diary. My dictionary. Ooh, my camera. I'll take it. I hear you breathing. Okay. Well, looks like we've got a note. Is it the gas mask man? Hi. Hi, yeah. Uh, you were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. It's locked. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Ooh. It cut me off. Okay. I'm very nervous. Alright, buddy, you just stay there. Let me go back to her diary. Okay. Shrip. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. Okay. What? What's happening? I don't understand. Uh, wait, what was that? Oh. 1955, opening of the youth children's camp. Hello, boys. Look like you're having a lovely time. Lovely indeed. I'll slide that under there. Can I help you? Go slide it back to me. Oh! We're passing notes under doors now, huh? Ooh. 
I was scared and I didn't know it would end here. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Yes, yes, telephone ringeth. Ah, this place is in fine working order, isn't it? Hello? Oh boy. Okay. I have to Did it just do that to get me to walk away? Oh boy. <laughs> My god. There I go again. I say that a lot. Oh, Jesus. Is that that little fucker? Should try writing the letter again. Okay. Whatever you say. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. Okay. Was it the strangling hair doll? Take that for me. The saddest thing in the world. No more coffee. Alright, well, you just, uh, maybe write me back, you know? We can get to the bottom of this summer of 58 business. That would be swell. If not, well, you know, I should just cut my losses now and leave. I boarded myself in here for Christ's sake. Oh, I heard the paper slip. Hello, thank you, thank you for your timely correspondence. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Oh boy. Nothing more beautiful than the laughter of a child. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Yakov. You don't actually think you're talking to a real, like, physical human being, do you? Can't be that fucking stupid, right? Excuse me, I must uh, slip my letter under the door to Yakov. <laughs> Yakov. There we are. Thank you, Yakov. Hey, stop! No running in the in the house. I don't care who you are, Mister. What is this? I've already seen this, I guess. You freaking little freaky little hair doll, you little fucker. I see your ears flip flopping around and whatnot. Oh, hello. Oh, right. Moltriaska doll. You're still here. Can I open your locker now? Oh, you ripped me back. Thank you. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell tell me that I live here and these people will come for me. Okay, I think I understand. He's worried that someone's going to tell people that he's here. It's just the way it's... Oh, hey! I see you, little hair doll. Look, buddy, I'm definitely not here for financial gain. Uh, you know, who are your friends? Why are they here? Not here to go viral from my subscribers and monetize your tragic, tragic life. Not at all. I'm a content creator. That's not what content creators do. They're caring. They actually care about people. <laughs> oh boy. Can you feel the sarcasm dripping from my words? Ah, if they can't make a quick buck off of it, they're not going to bother. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here that day. In the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. So that was... Oh, hello! Sleeping gas didn't exactly pan out, did it? Instead of sleeping, fucking, well, I mean, I guess it put people to sleep permanently. That's what it sounds like. 
Oh boy. Sound like great people. Well, they were doing sketchy shit to begin with, so. All this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Someone that was going to remove his kidneys? <gasps> oh, fuck. Hi. Hi. Bye. That's creepy as fuck. Look, I'm not here to hurt you. Like I said, I promise. 100% here for the people. Not for the money. You know. Alright, let's see. Ooh. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. Okay, okay. Small mirror and stand in a large in front of a large one. Barefoot lady, eh? The fuck do I find a small mirror? And stand in front of a larger one. Oh boy. Well, there's no mirrors in here. There's no fucking mirrors anywhere. You think glass is probably broken? A long time ago, right? Let's see. What'd you get to say to me, Yakov? It's all her. I saw her director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there, because I was scared and hid. In the morning I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. So you've been here for this long, living in ventilation? Like, what the fuck? I don't know if I buy that, Yakov. A building abandoned? Can I get there? I keep fucking dismissing it. I mean to pick it up every time. Okay. Here you go, Yakov. Answer me this. Riddle me this, my dude. Can I get into the abandoned building? Schlip, schlup, schlup. Okay. Oh, winding up the the uh, box, eh? Oh, thought I heard a letter slide under the door. Oh, Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Abandoned hospital? <laughs> what? Are you fucking serious? Holy shit, okay. I hear, I thought this game was going to be fairly short, which I mean, I'm sure it's short, but nah, I thought it was going to be like, you know, 30 minutes. Like a lot of other things that I buy on itch. Or download on itch. I didn't realize this was on Steam as well, so I mean, pick your poison, you know what I mean? You can get it on Steam, or you can get it on itch. Right now, at the moment, it's very cheap on itch. You only have to pay a dollar for it. Whereas on Steam, I don't think it's on sale. But I, I don't think it's very much there either. But it's definitely not a dollar. Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Okay. Don't know why I would do this, but I... Who the f... Blew my candle out? Oh boy. Can I just go back? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this. Chained. Hello? Yakov sent me. You know, I'm a friend of Yakov. I hear ya. Oh, Jesus. God, fuck. Yo, me and me and Yakov, we're fast friends. We're, we're buddies. Yes. Hi. What the fuck is happening? Oh, excuse me. <gasps> How? How? 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. Okay. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like these sounds. Oh. 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 Okay, look. The room's closing in on me here. Can I fucking... Are you just like, what the fuck is happening? Oh. Hi. Well, about time. Thanks for opening the door. I've been standing out there for fucking ever. I've been knocking. Oh, hello. You are... Fucking Post Malone? Huh? Jesus. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. So is it the doctor that was putting them to sleep to remove organs? I thought it was the director. So that the doctor could work on them. So that the director was complicit, right? Door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. Well, why didn't you fucking do that to begin with? Is there fucking some reason that you didn't tell me you had an angle grinder in your fucking backpack? Oh. Oh! Whenever I was looking at all the other... Fucking... Chains? This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Well, I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to get this high angle grinder. Let's grind. I am a very resourceful guy. Didn't know how I knew I was going to need me an angle grinder, but here we are. Just happened to mention that after I need to grind ankles. Alright. Well, hope you guys don't mind. I'm grinding your angles. It's fine. You know. I gotta get into these places. There's a fridge. What's in the fridge? I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich, Sergeyevich agreed to help. This is a different Alexei, I think. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, the links that you go to to save your kid. You're gonna John Q a whole fucking... Hi, welcome to the uh, orphanage, the doctor, the hospital. Whatever this is. Uh, let's grind some angles. Since you knocked so politely, I guess the least I could do is remove these chains and let you in. Hello, baby doll. Battery of the angle grinder has run out. Now well, that figures. It's a good thing I grinded all the angles. Lots of dirty hypodermics. Scalpels. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanechka. Vanechka? I'll save him. I'll need to find a donor urgently. What is a Vanechka? I thought it was Ivan. I'll have to look that up. I don't know what that fucking, you know, what, what, what that means. Well, according to this website, she knows. Vanechka is a Russian baby name meaning God's gift. Ivan was her gift from God? Or is it just another parent trying to save their child? Venechka was another child, I guess, in this shithole. Okay, well, Venechka, gift from God. More you know, right? I know what I'm doing is wrong, blah, 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 blah. I've already read this. Copy that. Well, I grinded an angle out here, so let's uh, go see what, what this one has to offer. Knock, knock. Okay. Can I come in, please? Let me in. Immediately. Let's just, uh... Oh, don't want to deal with that. 
don't know if I'll make it to the morning. Because today's shift is bothering, I want to run away from here. But then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how, you know, like, the Russian language works. How they word things. I don't know if, like, some things come before others. Like, uh, essentially the sentence is spoken kind of, like, backwards whenever you speak it in English. But it kind of seems like that. Okay. Well, hey, look. We grinded angles. Hey, uh, anything else? I hear something. Something's happening. Hello? Vanichka? Hi? What the hell? Oh. Hey, bolt cutters. That's convenient. Oh. So my battery died, but now I got fucking bolt cutters. So what you gonna do? What do you say? <laughs> what about you say about that, huh? I can get anywhere I please. With bolt cutters. Can I just... Jump out the window. Can I bolt cut these tables? A lot of vodka there. Ooh. I think I hit the fucking button. Why must you jump scare me? Scare me for real, man. Stop jump scaring me. Holy shit. Uh. Oh. I got the Resident Evil bolt cutters. Excuse me. Am I on the other side now? Oh, boy. What's this say? Won't. Won't pop. What the fuck? God damn it. Hello. Oh, of course. Sounds like they chained the door up again. Oh. I missed whatever that was. I have no idea. Oh. I didn't even have time to be scared by that. What the fuck? That's a nice little painting, though. I like it. I like it. After... A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. Ah, as they do, yes. Well, yeah, I didn't even have time to be scared by that fucking woman. Ah, uh, I am on the other side. I'm a dream catcher. Oh, I'm using my muscles. I'm very strong, big strong boy. I am so fit. Check out my abs. Ooh, Blair Witch stuff, huh? Oh boy! <gasps> oh boy. Jesus. Wow. What the fuck happened in here? Hi. Um. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? That is a good question. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who lost her child. I cursed everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. Oh boy. The wrath of mother. What she meant by that. And how she could return. Maria, I'm so sorry. Eh, I, I thought I heard her jump down. Dude, you have gotten yourself into a pickle. For some fucking content. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergeyevich, 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 about whom Maria spoke. Every time, all these games, there's always names that I have hell pronouncing. Replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. And then, what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else, the death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. 
He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Oh boy. I don't like the sounds. Death certificate. Sure. Why not? Can I take this? Need you close that up. Hello, Maria. Are you still here? I can hear things. Oh boy. Can I take this knife? Ooh, I can. I'm gonna stab you. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Won't you come near me? I got a big. Oh, fuck it! I got a big fucking knife! <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to use it. Okay. 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck this place. Let me out of here, please. God damn it. I want to leave immediately. Oh. Well, looky there. I think they're just helping me. They're just clearing the way. They're just being friendly, right? That's all it is, surely. Please. Let me grab my gear and let's fucking get out of here, please. I felt much safer back in the orphanage. I don't like hospitals. Three weeks later. Three weeks. Holy shit. How am I surviving? You only brought like a little food. I've been here for three fucking weeks. In one backpack. That is not enough. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello again. How are you? Nice to see you. You gonna strangle me in my sleep? I have no idea what the fuck is happening here. Everything's boarded back up again. I, hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you'd be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. What did I do exactly? I just learned the truth? What really happened? I'm glad this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history, where witches used to live, and there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Okay. So... It wasn't a ghost. But what about all the shit you were seeing? Those were ghosts, and you still don't believe in the paranormal? Holy shit, man, now I'm gonna go fucking fight witches? Okay, I mean, is it part of this game? Or is that gonna be like... Oh, okay, so it's gonna be another Emika game title. Ooh, the house. Nice. Okay. Well, interesting. Hey, you know what? It was, uh... It was a pretty cool little game. It had scary moments, it had jump scary moments, and, uh, you know, it was fun for what it was. Okay, so there's a lot more going on behind the scenes of this, but anyhow, um, I think some of the translation could use a little work. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure how the Russian language works. I don't, I don't know if that's just how it translates naturally from Russian to English. Um, but, you know, that can't be helped. I mean, I guess you could just rewrite it in a way that, you know, would be uh, easily read in English, but yeah, I don't think that's the native tongue, so why would they do that, right? But yeah, I mean, overall, it was good. I'm interested to see if this witch house game is is any good. What's it even called? Am I here? This is not Summer of 58 anymore, right? What the fuck? I'm so confused. What is the witch house? A few... Oh, whoa. What the fuck? Here I am giving a fucking review. A few days later. Holy shit. Okay. A few days later. What the fuck? This has been a wild summer. Holy shit. Okay. 
I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed uh, to escape from the abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I will be released now. I need to try to get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. The battery's dead on my camera, but of course it is. I have no idea what the fuck is happening anymore. I helped yak off. Now he can yak off in peace without anyone bothering him. Got my knife. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Dreamcatcher. Hey, crucifix. That'll help. I'm sure. Okay. Oh boy. This motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Blair witching? Nope. I'm staying down here. What the fuck? They're Blair witching? Why? What the fuck? Where's my backpack? I've got like a fucking unlimited supply of fucking. Is this just like a preview? Hello? Jeebus? Hello, Jeebus? <gasps> oh, you bitch. I s she did this. To be continued. Okay, so it was just a preview. I saw you in the fucking hospital, lady. You tried to scare me. Okay, well, hey, look. Summer of 58. Curious to see what goes on in the witch house. Whatever the fuck that's about. Um, you know, we helped yak off. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I already gave my little insight into what I thought about it, so. That's Summer of 58, that's another little game down and done and dusted, so. We'll just move on to whatever comes next, and I hope to see everyone there, I hope you enjoyed this. So, yeah, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.